We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Guinevere Furtado is here from Goodies by Guinevere, and we are making something delicious. I love cinnamon rolls, but Gwen's going to mix it up. We're making cinnamon rolls shaped like pumpkins since we're doing the, the pumpkin theme today. It's good to see Absolutely. you, Gwen. Absolutely. It's great to be back. Thanks for I being love, here. I love being here. All right, so cinnamon rolls in general are, I love cinnamon rolls. Yes. And I, I almost love them when they're slightly undercooked. Okay. All okay. right. I don't I'll like, pull the ears out of the oven You know early. what I mean? You know, like yes. I still like that, that doughiness. Yeah, I, yeah. Do like, I do like that doughiness. Okay, I can, I can take a few out early. I'll not, make sure to wear my oven mitt. Not, yet, not that mm -hmm. I'm putting in requests or anything else, but that's, that's what I like. Sorry. A special order for Will today. Special order. So all let's right. go over the ingredients that we yes. need because I know you got a bunch of yeah, things that kind of like spread, of all, spread things. all over the place. Um, the dough recipe is fairly simple. This is probably one of the, re the easiest recipes that I've brought to the show. Got it. It's five and a half, uh, five and a half cups of flour. We're going to add the salt right in there. Okay. Teaspoon of salt. You're going to mix that first. And then we have two cups of room temperature milk. Got it. We're going to add in our melted butter. To put that, that. In. yep. The All question right is, there. is, so this is dough. Does this yeah. have to, um, does this have to, s to sit rise? And rise. To sit yeah. and rise. It does. It does. However, power of TG, t TV magic. Look you behind you. Yeah, I already have some ready to go. So oh. then I, I just added. Oh a yeah, there cup, it is. Okay, so we're good. We're good to go with that. A quarter cup of sugar. Yep. And then one packet of yeast, which is two and a half teaspoons of yeast. Right. We're gonna mix that up. Let it froth. And then we're just going to add this right into the mixer. Okay. You can also do this by hand. Got it. With a wooden spoon, and or just how, knead it with your how hands. How long does it have to after you after it is mixed in yep. dough? How long does it have to sit like that? Typically, and I know like for at room temperature, about an hour to let it proof. You want the dough to be double in size. So whatever it looks like in, in the here. mixer, you want it to completely just double okay. in size. You can also let it sit overnight in the refrigerator if you'd and like. It, and it's okay. Say, check it out. And I know you've got it covered in plastic yep. here, and then you also put the, the, the towel, the on, towel, top, towel yeah. on top of yep. it too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll let that sit for. Oh man, that smells. That smells oh, delicious, yeah. right? That smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are going to make some uh, some cinnamon rolls shaped like pumpkins today. Yeah. Tonight. If you want to do something fun with the kids, this would be perfect. Gwen's going to stick around with us all morning long, and we're going to toss things over to Audrey. Thank you. We are back in the kitchen with Guinevere from Goodies by Guinevere, making these delicious cinnamon rolls that are shaped like pumpkins today, perfect for this season. Absolutely. I mean, can't be a better time to do this. So yeah. what stage are we at? Because these are already coming out so cute. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they're starting to take their shape and start to look like pumpkins. So off ca camera, I mixed together the pastry sugar. This is just brown, light brown sugar, dark brown sugar. And then I added some uh, cinnamon and a little bit of cardamom Ooh. as well for a little bit of warmth. I rolled out the dough to about a quarter of an inch thick. Right. About a one, one centimeter. You want it pretty thin. You don't want it paper thin. You still want to have like a good enough. You want to get a good layer roll. here. roll. Yeah, definitely. I rolled up the cinnamon roll and then I rolled it into a log. Cut the log. Like and then all you're going to do is take a couple pieces of twine and you're going to lay them in the shape of an X across each other, which is what I did here. And then all you do is place the cinnamon roll directly on top of that X. And then all you have to do is tie them in a knot. So you I'm going to try that. I was going to say, you want to give it a try. To tie over here. And then I have the scissors behind you. So you're going to trim off the excess twine as well. And you on made a good rolls. point about the specific kind of twine, too. Yes, it has to be cooking twine. That's very, very important. You don't want to use any yarn or anything like that, anything with acrylic in it, anything that can't go in the oven that's not oven safe. Right. So 100% cotton will work. Um, make oh, sure you're you using something like that. Yeah, it's starting to form oh, the ridges. I love these. Absolutely. I've got a couple in the oven. They're getting there. They're getting there. Yeah, okay. they're starting to darken up now. And these are vegan too, you said, yes, right? Yes, yeah. So everything okay. that I do, look at that. That's perfect. And then you're just going to take the excess twine. It's You don't have, you can totally skip this step, but it's just to make sure that it doesn't actually like burn or bake into the cinnamon roll. Oh, that's a good And then idea, it'll though. just be easier for you to, to take them out and take them apart. These are so adorable. Just cut them. Thank you. These are cute just like this. Yeah, and right. Like, no, we're going to cook them and we get to eat them. I was going to say, once they're done, you're going to take a little cinnamon stick and just place it right into the center. You don't want to do oh, this like now. The stem. Yes, exactly. Okay. Not not yet. Once they come out of the oven, but I figured we could add a little bit more 
cinnamon sugar on these guys as well too now, before they come out. Now do you usually do for the, you know, obviously seasonally, you kind of like change up your menu a little bit? Absolutely, yeah, definitely. So right now we're all about the fall flavors. I love cinnamon, I love cardamom, I love spice. Anything with warmth, apple is really good. Oh, apples are great Megan right and now. I, Megan and I were talking about doing an apple caramel roll, but she gave me this idea. She is actually the, the genius behind this idea. So big Megan, thanks to Meg upstairs. Yeah, thank you, Meg. It, it, and I mean, this was actually my first time doing this, so if anybody can tell you how easy it is, it's me. I mean, right. I have been baking for years, but I've never, never used this method before to it actually really tie, cute. you know, tie them around. And it was super simple. All you have to do is just make sure they're nice and fastened. And, and not only for uh, not obviously the Halloween season, like even like rolling into Thanksgiving. Yeah, and these are like so great. You oh, can these give somebody. I was gonna say somebody. this could be like a centerpiece uh, at, on really your Thanksgiving fun. table because of Perfect. how cute they are. Yeah, but let's see. Let's uh, see what these look like. I was gonna say I don't think they're done yet. Yeah, they're right? not done just yet, but they're but starting you can to see get them there. How they're getting a little bit. Oh, oh yeah! My gosh. Oh, they're almost done. Friends, I would look say. Look at how beautiful these look. Thank you. These look so adorable. Thank you, thank you. Let's and see. And then we put the little stem on top. Yeah. Right? Are we right, going thank back you. in? We're going no, back in. I think. Um, what are we thinking? I think they're done. This honestly. is how I make. What are we thinking? Yeah. I mean, what are we thinking? Let's see. I mean, Will says he likes some doughy anyway, so oh that my can gosh. be. That one could be for him. This <laughs> looks so <laughs> cute. If it's raw, just give it to Will. Right. Will will mind. Will will mind. He won't get sick. No. Look never. at how cute these hey. are. I honestly, <laughs> this is the cutest idea. You know, thank any you. Year. I know right, my so mom loves to bake with my daughter, so any you know this would be great to do with anybody. But yeah, these come absolutely. Out so adorable. Thank you. So let's let's see what the when you take the uh, the twine off, and they do stay in that pumpkin little shape. Yeah. It oh, is a little tricky it. to try to make sure you cut all the strings because you have to tie each individual string. Right, so don't rush this. Make yeah, sure you just go be, nice and slow. This be is gentle. A, this is not a race. No, definitely not a race. Although you know we're trying, to, but you, you're doing a great job. Thank you're doing it quick. you. Oh, look at that. And it really does. That twine really does get it into that cute little pumpkin shape. And then you take your and cute you little take the garnish stick and you pop it right in the middle for your little stem. Look at that. That is so adorable. It's a little pumpkin. Cute and easy and delicious <laughs> as well. I love these. Me too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, thank you, Megan, again. That was such a great Megan, idea. Megan, love it, love, love, love <laughs> it. So if you're looking for any you know, cute things to do for Halloween and for the Thanksgiving, you want to get into the seasonal spirit, you can make these adorable cinnamon rolls that are just shaped like cute little pumpkins. Guinevere, always awesome having you thank here. You. you always come I, up with such, like, a pleasure. such great things. You're thank always so you. much thank fun you, Audrey. to have here. <laughs> For now, though, we're going to kick. Want to help me kick things over to Will? Yeah, we're going to kick things over to Will. Bye, Will. Woo! <laughs>